So in our last video, we created our first view for our restaurant listings, and then we added in a linkable title into the view so we can look at the single view version of the restaurant, which means the full version of the restaurant content. And so now what we have to do is create a content template, and that's going to determine how this page actually looks. So we need to create a content template for our post types. So on the full version, just like when you're looking at your blog page, you have multiple articles and you click on an article title, it brings up the full blog entry. Well, that's pretty much what this is. So it's bringing up the full entry of our custom post type. And so in order to control what this page looks like, we're going to create a content template. So in order to do that, go ahead and go back to your dashboard and click on content templates under the tool set menu. And we're gonna click on add new and we're gonna type in whatever our post name is, single view or single page view. So let's do restaurant single page view. And then under here, we select what we want this content template to apply to. So in this situation, it would be restaurants. And we're gonna check that box to say apply to existing restaurant items. And then we're gonna click on create content template. And similar to what we did with our loop template when we were creating our view, we're gonna be using the same kind of interface, interface to create our template. The only difference being with this specific theme, right? We already have our fe a place for our featured image, so we don't need to put that in our content template. So as you can imagine, how this works differs a little bit depending on what theme we're using or what page builder we're using. And so I will cover uh, specifically managing content templates with each theme when we get to our front end page builders. So we're gonna cover the basics now, and then I'll show you how to do a better integration when we get to our front end page builder. So don't worry about it looking perfect for right now, but we need to understand the basics of how content templates work. So we'll create them, and then during our front end page builder, I'll go over it again. So this kind of works the same way. We, we have our template box here. We have our fields and views button, which we're gonna click. And then we're just gonna add in our field. So we're gonna add in a post title. We don't need a link this time because we're already on the page it would link to. And I'll just do some basic formatting. So we'll do, we'll make that a heading. And then we will add in our uh, post content, which is our post body. So that's here. And we'll insert that and we'll just put paragraph tags around that. And then we will add in our restaurant information because we don't need our featured image because that's already in our template here. That's done automatically for the WordPress, this specific WordPress 2017 theme. I'll show you again, I'll show you how to do that with our page builders later on. And then we're gonna add in our restaurant custom field. So our phone number. And our address. And I'm gonna show you how to create a map with the address, but I'm gonna show you that in a separate video. So this right now is just gonna output the raw data, the raw address, but I'll show you how to do that with a map as well. And so now we're going to add in our email address. And finally, we'll add in the, we'll just do click to email. No, actually we'll do that without the formatting, right? So we'll just insert our email address. And then finally, we'll add in our delivery. And then again, I'll just put in some very basic uh, formatting. So we'll do phone. So we just have a basic content template. We will update this. And under the usage, we have restaurants selected. And so now if we refresh this page, you can see that it has some basic formatting in. So it added my title in twice because with this theme, it already adds in the title. So we can actually take that out. So we'll delete our title and I'll just add some spaces here to clean that up a little bit. And we'll refresh again. And now we have a sidebar here. You may want that, you may not want that. I'll cover that more during our front end page builder stuff. So we're just worried right now about formatting this section. So this isn't too bad. We have our title, we have our image for our 
uh, featured image up here, we have our content and we have our basic form fields. And so now, now that we have our content template set up and we can get, you know, you can use HTML and, and CSS and JavaScript in here as well. So um, if, we, if we're okay with some basic formatting like this and then tying that together with our front end theme, we really don't need to know anything outside of some of these basic HTML tags. And I'll put a link to some of the basic ones that you can use. Um, if you really need kind of an intricate design, this would be something you can hire somebody off of Upwork for like an hour. It should, really shouldn't take more than that to kind of design something special or a friend that knows some basic HTML could probably do this. But if we just need the basic tags and the basic, basic format, then this would be enough and we can work on what the rest of this page looks like when we get to our front end page builder. So this is a good start. And so now what we want to do is we want to create a form so that people can create or submit reviews to this restaurant from this page. And then we also want to list, right, existing reviews. And that's what we're gonna take care of in the next couple videos. So in this next video, we're going to create a view to show reviews for a restaurant and how to display that under on this page. And then we're going to talk about cred forms, which is going to allow a user to submit review information through to our website through the front end.